Okay, guys, right, here's one for the men. Okay, so, are you ready? You're getting on a bit. The weather's turning cold. You have no hair. You don't like baseball caps. You don't like beanie hats or, or woolly hats with pom-poms on top. You want to dress it up a bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. But you don't know where to go. So let's have a look at the fedoras. Now, this here is my Panama hat. Now, this hat is excellent for the, uh, for the summer because it's, uh, it's a nice loose weave and it allows the, uh, the air to travel through it and it keeps the sun off your head. But that's not going to keep you warm in the winter. So you need to change your hat. And then I have my other hat, which is a cotton fedora. And this, I like this hat very much. And a little secret, you can get these when they're in stock from Sainsbury's for £10. And it's, it's lined. It's got a nice stiff brim. It's got a, a stitched rolled edge so that it keeps its shape. Very, very comfortable. And I enjoy wearing it. But the winter's coming. And as you can see, there's air vents on the side here. Not only lets the uh, the heat out, it lets the cold in. So that, as much as I like it, is not the best thing for the for the winter months. So what do we need? We need a wool hat. So a wool felt fedora hat for me is the way to go. There are other um hats out there other materials like like badger hair but you you have to kill a badger to make your hat i'm not going to have that all right so what you need is a wool felt fedora now here is one i've just acquired it comes in a plain brown box with cellophane round there's not a lot of protection in that box but this is exactly how it's arrived now this is water repellent and crushable. So if it does happen to get a little bit uh, squashed in the delivery van, we're not too worried about that because it takes its shape back. Now, there are a number of things to look at when you're buying a felt hat. A lot of hats, um, the felt is just cut around the edge and you have a raw edge. Now, those brims tend to go a little bit floppy unless you've got a real high quality felt or beaver and it's quite thick, you know, edging towards two millimetres thick. Then it will tend to keep its shape a little bit more. Now, in the good old days, back in the, the 40s, 50s, into the 60s, if you had a rolled finished edge on a hat that was normally on a premium hat you really had to pay your money to get that finish on the hat so the run of the mill was a raw edge now this hat i've got it from a company called major and uh, what i'm going to do be prepared to uh, to pause your video anytime now so here we have the company logo okay so that is Major wear. I will turn it over and there you have their website. All right. So by all means, pause the video, go to the website, have a look and see what they've got that might suit you. Failing that, and I don't know if this would work, but here, see if I can uh, focus on that there's a qr code all right so you may be able to scan that off the video and go straight there i don't know and then on the back we have 
information about the uh, the rising of the company and the fact that it's based in London. Okay, so it's a UK company, UK based, made in England. Now this hat, as you can see, the profile on the side, this is slightly curved. Now this is, this is based on the Indiana Jones fedora hat. So when you're wearing it, the side profile is there. Uh, and what it actually does, it drops down at the back and drops down at the front. So if you are out in the sunshine, it protects your neck and your eyes from the sunshine. But then if you're out in the rain, it does the same with the rain. Okay, nice big wide brim. Gives you plenty of protection from the side. It's a nice soft felt. It's, uh, it's strong. It's comfortable. Um, I went out in it last night um, to a music venue. And uh, to be honest, the music venue was full of bikers, not motorcyclists, bikers. You, you know, these, these are the guys that make a lot of noise and, uh, and enjoy life. I spent a lot of time in those circles. I'm still there. So I thought, if anyone's going to rip me to pieces, that's where it will happen. So I wore this hat with my nice long coat and off we went. And the compliments that I got were, were amazing. Uh, they wanted to try it on. Um, I'll put a couple of photos in here of a friend and of my uh, my good lady, Fiona, um, with a hat on. And, uh, and you can see how um, versatile and adaptive it is all right so um the delivery time was rapid it took about four days from ordering this hat to um to it landing on my doorstep uh absolutely no issues whatsoever if i was to have a gripe which i haven't got a gripe but it would be the fact that on the photos look like it was lined this hat is not lined it hasn't got an inner lining um i would have liked it in a lining but let me tell you this hat on ebay i got it off ebay that's how i found the company i didn't know they existed okay so this hat cost me 28 pounds pretty much dead including postage and package and uh, and it was here within four days now i'm not going to complain about that it's uh i wore it out last night uh, where the temperature dropped drastically i uh this morning the weather was four degrees rising to eight degrees i've been out so i've been to the shops i've been to a, a major shopping center uh, I've, I've walked around um people look at it and you get compliments you will have people look at you because it's something different you don't normally see these every day of the week but you know what who cares if it feels good, you think it looks good, who cares what anybody else thinks? So guys, majorwear.co.uk, go to the website, have a look, and by all means, give it a try. For £30, what have you got to lose? It's that time of year where you can get it, and if you don't like it, it's a Christmas present, isn't it? So win-win situation go for it guys there's enough videos out there telling you what uh, how, how to buy a, a fedora you know with the different brim sizes and all the rest of it and the difference between a trilby and a fedora but you know what too much information for now i just wanted to let you know that they're here where you can get them from and uh and see one in real life and there you go let me show you the back so just before you go, please subscribe, hit the like button, hit the bell icon, and uh, and let's see how we do with that. Uh, if I get enough uh, enough likes, I'll come back and I'll, I'll do a review of my other hats, uh, including my Tilly. Uh, I've got four hats at the moment. Um, the, the missus says, don't get boiled any more hats, but we'll, we'll see how that goes, shall we? Because uh, you know what? You know, as blokes, once we get something under our belt, we don't let go, do we? So we will see. Enjoy, and uh, I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.